In this video, we will be finding out just how much difference the amount of memory makes to the performance of AMD's mobile silicon. To do this, we will test the in-game performance in a range of games with 8GB of memory installed, and then we will compare the results to the performance with 32GB installed. For the test platform, we will be using the Dell G5 15 Special Edition 5505 gaming laptop, an all AMD configuration with an AMD Ryzen 5 4600H processor paired with an AMD Radeon RX 5600M graphics card. And the memory modules will all be running in dual channel at 3200 MHz. All games tested will be done so at 1080p with unlocked frame rates and the results will be taken from actual gameplay regardless of whether the game has a built-in benchmark. Jumping right into it we have Cyberpunk 2077 running at the Ultra preset which the game defaulted to. Ray tracing is disabled however as it is not supported by the RX 5600M. The game felt quite smooth in both configurations with 8GB of memory achieving an average of 33.4 frames per second and a 1% low of 20.5. With 32 gigabytes of memory, the average frame rate saw a reasonable boost of over 15% to 38.7 FPS and the 1% low saw a boost of a little over 18% to 24.2. Next up is Grand Theft Auto 5, which defaulted to a mixture of high and very high settings Though as you will see from the results, this game would likely be playable at higher settings than this. With the default settings and 8GB of memory, an average frame rate of 111 FPS was achieved and a 1% low of 72.4. Increasing the memory to 32GB rather counterintuitively saw worse results across the board, with the average frame rate dropping by 7.2%, and the 1% low dropping by 4.1% to 103 and 69.4 respectively. Red Dead Redemption 2 defaulted to favour performance, which was therefore used for this test. However, this hardware is capable of running the game at much higher settings, particularly with more memory. Upon launching the game with 8GB of memory, a warning is given that your computer does not meet the recommended minimum specification, but the game launches regardless and runs for the most part perfectly fine maybe with only the occasional minor stutter as demonstrated by the 1 and 0.1% low figures. With 8GB of memory installed, the game ran with an average frame rate of 78 FPS and a 1% low of 20. With 32GB, the average frame rate got a modest bump of 6.9% to 83.4 FPS, but it's with the 1% and the 0.1% lows where the biggest boost to performance is seen. The 1% low was boosted by 182% to 56.4 and the 0.1% by a whopping 2085% to 43.7 though that is up from just 2. Fortnite was ran in DirectX 11 mode and defaulted to epic settings. This proved to be another game whereby the average frame rate saw only a modest boost but the experience was overall made much smoother by the additional memory as demonstrated by the 1 and 0.1% lows. The average frame rate was boosted by 6.25% from 80 frames per second with 8GB of memory up to 85 with 32. The 1% low was boosted 130% from 15.7 FPS with 8GB to 36.1 with 32GB. Counter-Strike Global Offensive was tested with all the settings at very high and FXAA off. There was no mentionable difference in average frame rate between 8GB and 32GB configurations, but the frame rate was marginally smoother as can be seen by the slight boost in 1 and 0.1% values. Specifically, 1% low was 64.2 with 8GB of memory and 69.5 with 32GB. 0.1% low was more significantly improved, increasing from 16.4 to 29.7 with the additional memory. 
Rocket League up next, and this was set to the highest graphical settings. With Rocket League, we saw a negligible difference in results between configurations, with all results arguably within a margin of error. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or PUBG, defaulted to medium low settings, and is another example where the increased memory didn't create a big improvement in the average frame rates, but did a lot to reduce stuttering. With 8GB of memory, the average frame rate was 107.6 FPS, and with 32 gigabytes, it was a 112. With 8 gigabytes of memory, the 1% low was 17.9, and with 32 gigabytes, it was over 200% higher at 54.1. League of Legends defaulted to medium settings. Strangely, with this one, similarly to Grand Theft Auto V, the additional memory actually reduced the average FPS and 1% low by 25.6% and 23.7% respectively. The 0.1% low did see a boost of 11.8%, however, suggesting that some stutter may have been removed. The Cinebench R23 single and multi-core scores saw a negligible boost of less than 1 and 2% respectively. I think we can conclude from these tests that while in many cases the additional memory didn't improve the average frame rate, the frames were generated much more consistently with 32GB configuration than with the 8GB configuration, as demonstrated by the 1 and 0.1% low values. And this would give a much smoother and therefore improved gaming experience. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or at least found it informative. If you did, please consider giving a like and subscribing below. If you have any questions or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment in the comments section below.